We are on our way to Chengdu, in western China. Transport in China is different. Long journeys are made by airplane or high-speed train in speeds up to 380 km per hour. Such high-speed trains travel on elevated tracks as we can see to our left here. Medium distance journeys people travel by train, but now we are going to take a look at local transport. Anyone who has been stuck in a major traffic jam in places like New York, Tokyo, or London, well, you know what it is like. These traffic wardens do not have any formal authority, but what they don't have in authority, they make up tenfold with pure energy. You can imagine if each of these drivers of electrical vehicles instead were driving an ordinary car. There are numerous different models to pick from. Some are like bicycles, other more like motorcycles. The common denominator is that you need no license to buy, no registration, no tax or fees, no driver's license, no insurance, and they all run on recyclable lead batteries. One charge usually takes you some 50 kilometers. Parking is no problem anywhere. You pay an attendant about 2 RMB, or 30 cents US, to park, he give you a receipt, and guard your vehicle until you get back. <laughs> Electrical vehicles, buses and ordinary vehicles have different driving lanes, each can drive in the other lane, but they have to give way. Most drivers avoid that. In which lane would you prefer to drive?